Hi and welcome to another Zip Fit Hit and another one of my lunchtime workouts. Um, we're going to start with a five minute warm up and um, then we're going to move into the main set. Um, and also, happy Easter. It's uh, day nine, Monday the 13th of April. Um, okay, let's get started. So, five minutes of a warm up, very slight bend in your knees and then big circles going around with your right or left arm. Going around one way. And going backwards with that same arm, big circles. So, uh, another nice day. And uh, swapping arms over to the other side, same again. So just brace your abs ever so slightly, slight bend in your knees. And going backwards. Okay, into shoulder rolls, going up and round, up towards your ears and back. Just opening up the chest muscles. Okay, lift your arms up, very slight bending your knees, rotate round to the side, back to the centre, round it the way. So keeping those hips locked, round one way. Good rotation of your upper body. Something's biting me. Okay, have a jog in the spot. And into a chest press, push your hands forward, elbows back. Doing a mid-air push-up. And into a shoulder press, up towards the sky, reaching up. Okay, take your feet a bit further apart. I don't want to bite in here in the garden. And swing your arms across your body. So very slight bending your knees, still engaging your abdominal muscles. Okay, heel flex, kicking your bottom. So lengthen out up the spine, kicking the glutes. Five, four, three, two, one, turning around, high knees. Take your time with this. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, just going into lateral hops. So just hop from one leg over to the other. Just small little jumps. Just to activate the muscles around your hips and ankles. Okay, wider step. Transfer your weight from one side over to the other, stretching out those inside legs. Keep your upper body in an upright position. So feeling that stretch. Should we feel this right down the inside. Okay, walk your feet in, sitting down into squats. So feet shoulder width, sit down into the squat, push back up using your glutes. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just breathe all in those leg muscles. Nine and ten. Okay, so dropping down into a monkey feet, shoulder width, bend at the knees, core forward into the push up position. Apply a bit of pressure, pushing down into the ground. Ten hill climbs, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left foot up by your left hand, back leg straight. Push down through the hips, lift up, up and up the chest, back to the center, and swap. So back leg straight, push down through the hips, lift up, up and up the chest. Back to the centre, one more of those on each side. Don't worry if you can't get your leg all the way up to here. You can just go to there. And push down, lift up, up up the chest, centre push, and swap. And open up. Okay, you can drop to your knees if you want to. Ten push ups, crossing over your ankles, leading with the chest. One, two, Three, keep the head still. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Back up into push up position, crawl back in, and well done. Okay, grabbing hold of your knee next, all the way up towards your chest. Step forward, drop down into the lunge, drive up from the heel, over to the other side, same again, knee up, step forward, drop down, push, one more of those on each side, knee all the way up, step forward, drop down, push, knee up, step forward, drop down and push, okay just 20 seconds, jumping jacks. So the, the main set, we're doing one minute of work with a 20 second rest after each exercise. There's five exercises per round and it's a real mix of legs, upper body, abs, um, just working around. So a whole body workout, always making sure that we're finding some balance. Um, I'm going to try and give you as many modifications as I can or progressions as we go. Um, we're using this contraption. So when you hear a beep, that's when we start. When you hear a beep again, that's when you stop. Do you tend to get a little bit out of breath uh, doing this? So listen for the beeps. Um, first exercise is burpees. We're doing that for one minute. And then we move on to push-ups, cycle abs, frog squats, and then windmills. I'm gonna talk to you through each one of those as we go. Um, one minute of work, 20 seconds rest. Okay, starting with burpees. So feet shoulder width. Ready, three, two, one, and go. So we're off. And just stand, or you're just gonna go out and do the jump. Down, out, in. Whew. Try and get onto the heel, use your glutes to jump. So feet flat, nice jump. Use your upper body strength. This isn't just about the quads and the hamstrings. Whew. And jump. So your hands go down, shoulder width. So this is one minute. The modified version is down, out, out, in, in, stand. Alternate legs. Fifteen seconds to go. Then we get a twenty-second rest. Okay, 20 seconds rest. Push-ups next. You can do this on your knees if you want to. Wrists underneath your shoulders. Knees underneath your hips. Sway one way, sway the other way, mid position. Okay, legs back, and off you go. One second down. One second up, pause at the top. Lead with the chest all the way through. Remember you can do this on your knees, coming down, or you're here. And if you can only go halfway down, just go halfway down and back up. 20 seconds to go. Then we've got cycle abs after this. Keep the bottom lifted. Five seconds. Okay, lie down on your back. So doing a little bit of a pelvic tilt. A little bit of a tilt so you can just about squeeze your hands underneath there. One hand here, one leg there. Interlock your fingers, lifting up your chest and your legs go out so you rotate.
So really stretch out the leg. You got a nice straight line running from your ankle, your knee, and your hips. Get that good rotation, or you can just lift up and just do the legs in their own, or you get in that rotation. Don't drag your arms forward. 20 seconds to go. You got frog squats after this. Got those abdominal muscles okay front squats next start with your feet together open up your chest dropping down touch down touch okay going in five seconds keep going okay two one and go so drop touch drop so slow it down on the way down up. I want to make this a little bit harder then quick legs in Slow down, quick legs in, slow down. Keep your upper body upright all the time. <sighs> Try and keep your upper body upright, drive from the heel. So you end up turning out at a 45 degree angle. <sighs> 20, so you just pass halfway. You can just do wide angle squats. If you can't manage the, the frog squats, Ten seconds to go. Keep going, doing well. Four, three, two, one, stop. Okay, windmills. Go and do your pelvic tilt again. So it's a fine neutral position. And then you're here. So your pelvic sway one way, pelvic sway the other way, mid position. Okay? And bring those legs back and you twist round. Drive the hips up, back to the centre, and then over to the other side. Back to the centre, and that's one. So dynamic stretch of the chest as well. Back to the centre, that's one. So really good for building up some stability around your shoulders. It's all about balance, control. That's it. Make sure that lower back doesn't collapse. Remember, any of these exercises, you can uh, modify them. And don't worry if you can't do the full minute. You can just do whatever you can manage. Better to focus on technique first before you start to Incorporate volume and speed. Well done. Okay, good work. Okay, lunges next. So very good for building up some stability around your hips. Works those glutes and the quads. So you're going to step forward. It's one minute on each side. So pelvic, pelvis square, eyes looking forward. You're going to drop down like this and back up. Off we go. So coming down and up. So one minute on each leg. Take your time. You don't have to go really quick with this. Transfer your weight onto that front leg a bit, but you're not tilting forward from your hips. So open up your chest, look straight ahead. Drop down, push up. Breathe in as you come down, breathe out as you lift, and that applies to all your exercises. So working some big muscle groups here, Quads, glutes. You've got 20 seconds to go, then we swap legs. So notice we're not banging out loads of reps here. This is round two, by the way. First exercise of round two. Each one just follows on. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, over to the other side. So hip width. Eyes looking forward, step forward, get yourself in the right position. Your back foot should be pointing forward as well. Okay, so you're in this position. And you're up into your tiptoe at the back, otherwise you can't drop your back leg. 
and off you go. Chop down, push. Chop down, push. You want to make this harder still, get some weight, put them in your hands. So we can add two, six, 12 kilograms to this. Always tough on that second side, you should feel this back leg working as well. So coming down and up. Keep going. We've got close arm push ups after this, but you're very welcome to go back to a normal push. Close arm push ups are tough, means close, bringing the hands a lot closer together, a lot harder on the arms. You've got 15 seconds to go. Feeling that through those quads now. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, close arm push ups. Back to your pelvic tilt. Thumbs touching, legs back, eyes looking just slightly forward. Keep the bottom lifted, you're dropping down and back up. Go back to a normal push up if this is too hard for you. Or do it on your knees. See here, from down, from down. Keep that bottom lifted, eyes looking forward. Back to your abs after this, back to crunches. So coming up to the halfway point, halfway now. Really engage those abs, breathe in, breathe out as you lift. 15 seconds. Getting tough now. Whoa, felt that in your arms. Moving really in the backs of those arms again. Okay, you've got crunches next. Do that little pelvic tilt to get yourself into neutral. Raise one leg up and then your other leg up, so you're here. Interlock your fingers. I'm going on a wee bit of the grass there. Okay, and then. Just lifting up, down. So your lower back should always be just gently pressing against the ground. Pull with your abs. Prisoner squats next, and then onto hill climbers. Hill climbers for a minute, it's gonna be tough. 20 seconds to go. Seven seconds. Whew. Feeling out towards the end there. Okay, prisoner squats. So uh, feet together. You're dropping down like a jumping jack, but you bend your knees. If you want to do jumping jack, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so you're going to be going like this down. Okay, and off you go. Sit down. If you do quick legs in, sit down. Try and keep your upper body upright. Down, bending those knees. You can do little ones, but deeper, go deeper. Back to those legs. Keep going. You've got 20 seconds to go. Five seconds. Whew. Okay, onto hill climbers. 
Body weight over your arms. Knees underneath your hips. Do your pelvic sway one way, the other way, mid position. Set your legs back, knee in, knee out. Ooh. Keep going, eyes looking just slightly forward. Fifteen seconds to go. Five. Oh, oh, that was tough. Okay, moving on to monkey march. You're gonna bend your knees, crawl forward, crawl back in, stand up, and drop, crawl forward, crawl back in, onto your heels, stand, bend. Crawl forward, crawl back in. From there, you can do a jump. Want to make that harder? Good old body workout, this. Five seconds. Okay. We've got front plank to push up. So you're dropping down. Hands on your elbows underneath your shoulders. Ankles in line with your hips. So you're in this position. And we're off. You can just hold front plank if you want to. I'm going to do 30 second right arm, 30 seconds left. Take your time. This is tough after these hill climbers and monkeys. Okay, halfway there. Swap arms. Drive up. Oh my God. Oh, wow. That was tough. Sweaty like that. Oh, okay. You want jump squats or just normal squats? Sitting down and back up. Oh, you're doing jump squats, excuse me. Okay, so here. Hold on, keep going, you're doing well. 20 seconds to go. My legs, really feeling this. <sighs> 
Ten save. Come on. Oh. Wow. Okay. Going to hundreds. Flying down on your back. Oh, oh legs. Wow. Do your pelvic tilt. Raise your leg up. Raise your leg up. Okay. Little pulses up and down. Whew. Sometimes I get through half of these workouts and I think, goodness me, I've designed a pretty tough one here. You can lower down a little bit lower. Up an inch, down an inch. Keep your arms nice and straight. Legs straight. You can go to here if you want to. Little pulses. Really working those abs. Straight down the center. Oh wow, those abs. Keep going. Pilates move. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, stop. Woo! <sighs> okay, side plank. One elbow on the floor. You want the easiest version. Put one knee on the floor, 90 degrees. Drive your hips up. Otherwise, you're here. Open the chest. Engage your abs and apply leg raises. Leg raises. Want to add extra to that? Drop down, push. You can just hold here if you want to. We're just doing 30 seconds on each side. You've got 10 to go. I'm going to do a quick changeover. Leg up, leg down. Keep really engaging those abs. Okay, swapping over. Quick change over. Elbow underneath. Drive your hips up. Drop down, come up. Raise the leg. Down, up. Raise the leg. Down, up. Raise the leg. Okay, sorry, let's keep going without five seconds because we had a change over time. Three, two, one. Okay, lateral lunges. You're going to step out to the side, sit down. Okay, alternate legs. So step out, sit down. Step out to the side, sit down. So remember, it's important you move your body, different planes of motion, just creates far better balance around your body. Sit back, push from the heel. Sit back, push from the heel. This leg straight, push your bottom backwards. 15 seconds. Try and work those glutes. Push from the heel. Sit down, push. That's also a dynamic stretch of your uh, inside legs. Okay, shoulder taps. Legs wide, hands a bit closer together. See here, legs wide, hands closer together. You tap one shoulder, then you tap the other. See here, tap one side. Now if you go quicker, that's a little bit easier. Go slower, you really have to engage a lot more around the shoulders and the hips. Really try and keep those hips locked. Good core exercise, squeeze those lower abdominal muscles, push into the ground, like trying to push the ground away from you. 
past the halfway point. We've got squat with calf raise after this, or just calf raise. God, that's a lot of upper body. Water on board. Okay, squat with calf raise. Sit down into the squat to here, go up into your tiptoes. Okay, so sit down, use your glutes to push you back up, push. Sit down to here, upper body upright, squeeze your calves at the top. Just gets the heart rate up a little bit more, having to work more muscles, pumping oxygen to those muscles. So squeezing the calves at the top. We're going to work our back muscles after this. So as you're coming up out of the squat, straight up onto your tiptoes. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. We're almost there. Moving on to back extensions. So lying down on your front this time. Legs together. Brace your abdominal muscles. So squeeze your lower abs again. Keep those hips locked in position. Okay, back extensions. And lift. Lower yourself down with some control. Coming up to the halfway point, you should feel this running along here, just below your shoulder blades, running down your back. Ten seconds. Stop. Okay, just sit back on the heel slightly. Okay, we're going to go into side plank, thread the needle. So, elbow underneath, one hand here, open up the chest, so you're in this position, and then you're going to roll underneath. So, you roll underneath, grab the thread, and then pull your shoulder, hips, shoulders. Head all go around at the same time. So roll underneath, grab hold of the thread, open up the chest. Come underneath, grab the thread, take your time. We're doing one minute on each side if you can. Or you're at 30 seconds now, so do four lots of 30 if you want. Twenty seconds to go. Then you're in your last exercise. Remember, you don't have to do the full minute. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Last exercise. Wow. I'm sweating. Okay, over to the other side. So one foot on top of the other. Nice straight line, elbow underneath your shoulder. Open up the chest. Drive your hips up. Okay, and then roll underneath. Roll, and then pull. Whew. 
and then we often start on our dominant side, or I do at least. So you may find it's, if you're on your weaker side now, got a little less stability around the shoulders, which I definitely have. Coming underneath, eyes looking forward, because you're keeping your head in the same position. So you just roll it underneath, come around, try and get good distance, and then grab the thread and pull. And open up. Remember, you just go back to a normal side plank. You can do this on your knees. 10 seconds. Oh, we're nearly there. Wednesday and Friday, 12 o'clock. Uh, join me here, youtube.com. Uh, um, search for ZipFit TV. God, these flies getting in the way. Um, come and join me. I do all the workouts myself. Some are harder, some are easier, um, but come and give them a go. Um, if you are doing these on a regular basis, I hope you're enjoying them. Please provide feedback and also share this with as many people as you can. I'm trying to get a really nice community of us together um, doing these workouts um, so that we can all uh, stay fit in this difficult period. Um, have a happy Easter, um, Easter Monday, so um, enjoy your family, take care, keep it up, stay strong, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon.